I want to talk about recording drums and whether or not we should pan drums from the drummer's perspective or from the audience perspective. So I've been using GarageBand software drums for quite a while. You can do some really neat things with those, but they are automatically panned from the audience perspective. So if you want to switch that, I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you came here just for that answer and you want it now, go down to the description and click ahead to the answer. But first I'm going to talk about panning drums and why it's important to think about. So in recording, panning means that we take a sound and we move it more to the left channel or more to the right channel so that we hear it more out of our left ear or more out of our right ear. So there is some debate over panning drums. Should we pan them from the drummer's perspective or from the audience perspective? The drummer's perspective is that the hi-hat and the ride cymbal are on opposite sides of you and you'll hear the hi-hat more in your left ear and the ride cymbal more in your right ear. But if you're listening from the audience's perspective, the ride cymbal is actually on your left and the hi-hat is more on your right. From what I read, most people prefer to pan drums from the drummer's perspective and that's also what I prefer. And here's the reason why. From the audience perspective, when you're listening to a drum set acoustically, you're often far enough away that you're not really hearing the ride cymbal more in one ear than the other, or the hi-hat more in one ear than the other. Usually when I'm listening to a drum set from the audience perspective, I'm far enough away that all I hear are the drums are coming from there, from the drum kit. So unless the drum kit's over here or over there, I'm basically hearing all the drums in both ears. Now if you are a drummer and you're sitting at the drum set, you really are hearing more of a stereo spectrum. The hi-hat is definitely going to be louder in your left ear than in your right. The ride cymbal is louder in your right ear than in your left. So when we are recording it is helpful to pan instruments left and right because it does spread out the sound and it brings clarity to our mix. So I think it's much more natural to pan drums from the drummer's perspective because that really is where you're hearing more of a natural stereo sound. Also, as a musician, it really kind of freaks me out to hear drums from the audience perspective. I'm just so expecting to hear them from the drummer's perspective. And I would imagine as a drummer, it is really confusing to hear the hi-hat over here when you know you played it over here and hear the ride cymbal over here when you know you played it over here. So I think it's much better to record drums and pan them from the drummer's perspective. But in GarageBand software drums, that is difficult to do because they are automatically panned from the audience perspective. And so I've been dealing with that for a while and just figured I had to live with it. It's been kind of frustrating to me because there didn't seem to be any way to adjust that short of sending each instrument out of GarageBand, making them mono tracks and then importing them back into GarageBand and then panning them which way you'd like. That's one way to do it, but there's a much easier way that I discovered, so I want to show it to you now. Here I have a song that I've recorded in GarageBand, and I have some software drums in the recording, and so let's go ahead and just take a listen to those drums. So you can hear that the ride cymbal is definitely louder in my left ear than in my right ear, and so these drums are from the audience perspective. So let's go ahead and change that. Go over here and click on this button with the little dial or the knob. And click on this output setting so that you can see the plugins that you have. I'm going to select this one that's not being used and add a gain plugin. Up here we have some default settings. Go down to this one called Swap Stereo Channels. We'll add that. And so now these drums should be from the drummer's perspective. Listen for that ride cymbal. It should now be louder in our right ear than in our left. And that did work. The ride cymbal is definitely louder in my right ear, so these drums are now from the drummer's perspective. Okay, well, I do want to show you one more bonus trick in GarageBand. You might be familiar with this drummer that you can add. You just go up here in GarageBand to track, add a new track, and select this drummer. And GarageBand will create a track that looks like this, and it gives you all these options. You can select some different drummers. Um, I believe you have some different drummers here and styles, and then you can pick a drummer, his or her drum set, and then you can pick these different styles that they play and tell them to play more loud and complex or more simple and soft, and adjust different things here, whether they play on the hi-hat or on the cymbals, or more on the toms. Um, lots of different settings to play with. So this is what this drummer sounds like. 
you, so you can adjust the drums and get them sounding the way you want. But then there are times where you still may want to adjust them further, but you can't really get into each drum hit and change the kick drum rhythm to be exactly what you want. Or if you want to move one hit to a different beat, you can't really do that from here. You can't get super detailed, but there is a way you can. So what you want to do is add another track and this time we'll do a software instrument, hit create. And it brings you here to a piano, but we want to go to a drum kit and let's pick a drum kit that we like. I believe this is the same kit that Kyle is using here. It is. And then what you can do is select that drum track that Kyle played, the software Kyle, copy it, and then paste it into your new software instrument track. And now what you've got is the MIDI piano roll, they call it, and you can actually now adjust each drum hit as you'd like. So let's go ahead and just listen to that track. It is the exact same thing as what we had in this track above that Kyle played, but now we can get in and we can actually manipulate each hit. We can move it to different spots if we want. We can really mess it up. We can copy and paste new hits. So there you have it. You can have a lot more control over your software drums in this way. Well, I do hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching. I'd love to have you check out the other videos on my channel or even subscribe. Thanks. But if you're on the audience side, the ride symbols on your right, no, <laughs>